Before we go, did you notice those anomalies in the video where the feed would turn completely black? What did you think those were? We've been using this camera for well over a year now, and glitches like this have never happened. Yeah. Hello, Familia. I know this is not a typical way for us to open up a video, but I just wanted to share with you, basically when we're looking at the Bataan footage from Las Casas, um, there were some anomalies that we encountered when we were reviewing the footage. And when we put some of this footage into our editing software, those anomalies actually have created like corrupted files. And so it's made it difficult for us to kind of get them uploaded into YouTube. Um, and I wanted to share, in case it doesn't work when we're trying to upload, I wanted to share at the beginning of this video with you all what that raw footage actually looks like here. Um, in that house because it, it gives me that lightheaded, dizzy feeling. It was incredibly amazing. So this happens twice. It happens again here. Okay, let's stay with the group, though. But I have to share. So it's just super odd. Um, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. I'm sure this breakfast is going to be awesome. But I've worked up quite an appetite already, walking all over the place trying to find where we need to go. All right, we made it. We we're running a little bit late. We are always on Filipino time. I feel like we're always running a little bit late, so. Okay, just know if you ever invite us somewhere, chances are we're gonna be a few minutes late. It just happens. It's really hard to get out of the house with these children. We are walking over to the breakfast and it looks so beautiful. I can't wait to show it to you on this boat. Let's check it out. Time for a coffee, Kuya. Wow, say hi guys. Breakfast is here. Who's got the pandasal? Me. Kuya, what are you drinking? Watermelon juice. Is it good? Yeah. So I asked Brian to serve me some coffee right now and he grabbed one of these to give me coffee and I had to point out to him that he just gave me a soup bowl full of coffee and not a coffee cup. That's why mommy serves oh everybody at the table. Don't put me on blast right now. One of the main attractions at Las Casas Filipinas de Acusar is the Balsa Boat Ride, which takes visitors on a tour of the property along a man-made river. The Balsa Boat Ride is unique and enjoyable in a way to see the property and learn about its history. It is definitely a relaxing and scenic journey to start your day. Nanganisa. I have had it one time before. I made it. Um, I bought it and then I cooked it, I should say. And I probably am not sure if I cooked it right even, so I've never eaten it again since. How to describe longanisa? It is like a um, chorizo, like a sausage, but uh, you know, it's in the, the casing. From what I can remember, it's sweet. We'll see. It's sweet. I just can't get over sweet meat. <laughs> Kaysen loves it, huh? Kaysen loves longanisa. Kaysen, huh? you love it, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, see. Being on the balsa ride gives you a unique perspective of the resort's carefully preserved structures. It also gives you the chance to visit houses that can only be accessed via these waterways. So this area that we're in right down here, Replica of Estero de Binondo in Manila. And so it's made to look like the houses that used to be in that area at that time. Accessoria. So Kuya Mark was telling us there are 63 houses on the property. 41 are original, 22 are replicas and archival houses. We're literally sitting in history. It's so crazy. And we're eating breakfast on a boat. 
There may be an additional fee for the balsa boat ride, depending on the type of package you book. Yeah, somehow very good. Yeah, when Nana used to watch Kaysen when he was a baby, she would make him lomi all the time. Eat so much Filipino food. Is why you eat so much Filipino food? I think you're right. I think Nana Maybe, used huh? to feed you Filipino food all the time when you were a baby, huh? Instead of making me spaghetti pasta or normal sh um, chicken noodle soup, she'd make sinigang. She used to love to make you spaghetti. So I just, how do I open it up? I don't know, just... <laughs> Just rip it open. Rip, rip the side. The yeah, take of it. yeah, take the meat. I mean, you can eat the skin too. Did you tell them what you're eating them? Do you? Kuya Mark just said not to eat the backbone, but the the little Hi. ones are okay. Hi. The little bones are hard to get past, but the meat itself is really good. It's very smoky, so I like smoky meats. That works for me. What are you doing? Are you eating it head first? Tapa. Yeah. Kappa. Mmm. That is almost like. Smoked salmon that you would get at a sushi place. That's good. Did you eat the head? Did you eat the eyeball? You're looking for its brain? After I'm done eating it. Mm. Oh my goodness, how do you do that? Look, he's like a pro. During this ride, we also learned about some mythological creatures and Lola Basiang. That's Lola Basiang, Kaysen. And she tells the stories to the kids about those three over there on the bridge. These guys are Filipino folklore, Tikbalang Mananangal. While staying here, we were treated to some of the most amazing sunsets we've ever seen. Uninterrupted views. You have to come to this place to truly appreciate this. Later that night, we are about to ride off on the balsa. This time, on a night tour. And right away, I knew this boat ride would be much different than the one from the morning. The way the amber-colored lights shine and glisten against the water's mirror-like surface is practically hypnotic. The stillness of the water and the clear, starlit sky above adds to this incredible experience. Our first stop was only accessible via the balsa boat, Casa San Juan. Okay, so we just started the experience on the balsa ride and I'm trying to keep my voice down because we are with a group of other people right now and I don't want to be too loud, but it's been it's just breathtaking. It is so amazing. I got some really great like visuals of the light reflecting off of the water. And there's one part where it just felt so romantic. Absolutely beautiful, wonderfully breathtaking. I would highly recommend doing something like this for a special occasion with your significant other. Gotta be careful. Stairs. This heritage house originally stood in San Juan Batangas and was the residence of attorney Leonardo Hernandez and his wife Soledad Salas Magtibay Hernandez. The intricately carved Calado traceries were said to have been the handiwork of prisoners at the Belibid workshop. This is crazy. This is so, like, I'm overwhelmed with emotion because I just, I can't. <laughs> it's nuts. It's hard to fathom that this house was built more than a century ago. So Kuya here was just telling me that the house is 95% 95%. original um, pieces and it was brought here from San Juan, San Juan Batangas. San Juan Batangas. Built in 1920. Wow. It's amazing. It's crazy. Goosebumps. And then 
we learned about another house. And this house is a Casamay High Laguna. Second oldest house is stone in the Philippines, built in 1744. Wow. How much of that one is original? Only 30% original. 30%. Truly mind-blowing. Sorry, camera switch. Thank you, dear. That was so amazing. So I think we're going to stop at another house right now um, on the Balsa Ride tour. But I have to share that um, I got a little bit lightheaded while I was in there. And I have a cousin who has some empathic abilities, and she's always told me that's because my I feel things very, very, um, very real. And so, you know, she believes, and, and I believe a little bit of this myself, that I can actually feel and sense some of the spirits that have been um, in that house because it, it gives me that lightheaded, dizzy feeling. On the next stop, we're greeted with double staircases, also accessible only by water, making this house feel even more unique. The details in the woodworking here, it's nothing short of amazing. It makes me wonder how much time it took the artist to complete this masterpiece. All right, I know I keep saying this, but it's just so amazing to be witnessing some of this history. I love that this gives us the opportunity to share these moments with our kids and they get to learn about the history and the heritage and the culture. I think it's absolutely amazing. I'm so grateful. I literally can't think of any other words other than it's amazing, it's cool, it's nuts, it's breathtaking, it's just Someone said we need to come up here because it's even more mind-blowing. I don't know how that's possible. Oh my. Jeez. I just imagine the parties and the dancing that probably took place in a room like this. This is the kind of stuff that you get to do. It's pretty cool. What do you think, Rowan? I saw a cat. It was super nice. It was like going about me. <laughs> also, I lost yeah. my tooth today. The cat didn't have wavies, though. There were some unexplained anomalies we unknowingly captured on our camera. Many footages where the screen would seem to cut out and a few times where the audio produces an abrupt static noise. After showing these to some of our family members, I learned about something called the third eye. They speculated that mine is quote unquote open, and I think they might be right. It's a little scary to me. Because you know my crime junkie mind. Okay, let's stay with the group though. Myself that I can actually feel and sense some of the spirits that have been um, in that house because it, it gives me that lightheaded, dizzy feeling. It was incredibly amazing and to know the history. Now, I don't want to leave this episode on a spooky note. So I will say this, if you visit this place, I highly recommend doing both the day and the night balsa rides. Seeing this place at different times truly changes the perspective. Explore this unique property with a curious mind. Be open to trying everything. Walk the grounds, eat the food, talk to the people, and most of all, enjoy yourself. I feel like I'm in another world. We are so blessed and grateful to have had the opportunity to come and see this place and we'd love to do it again. Salamat and ingat till next time. No, they cheat me. Hello. Let's wait for some fun things. Wow, so brave.
You like him walking in the Hall of Fame here. Wait! Behind the scenes! Mom, look at me! Can't believe it. Just wow. Look at these sculptures. Guys, look at this illusionist staircase. Just look at it. I am a wish. Now they're going to take it. Damien is down here and I will. Just, I will. Yeah, but when you face got your face Rubik's cube, what did it feel like? Did, did you know all the algorithms? No, That's... I can't know all the algorithms. I know. Talking about. But do you like it? Yes, I love Future. it. Can you solve any cube in the world except 21 by 21? I can solve any cube. 